However, there are cases in which you might think the only option is a function, but you could easily use a computed property. Here we have a view component with a text input, a greeting message, and an increment button. Changing the input will update the greeting message, while clicking the button will increment the number. If we look at the code, we have a count and name reactive values, and a greeting function that logs into the console and returns a new greeting message. Inside the template, we have the input, we're calling the greeting function, and then we have the button that increments count whenever we click on it. If we go in the browser and open up the console, we'll see that greeting was executed. If we change the input, greeting executes and the message is updated. And this is okay, the name changes, the function should execute to show us a new message. What is not okay is, if we click on increment, count increases, but greeting is also executed. And there's no reason to do that. The count value has nothing to do with the greeting message. Greeting should only execute when name changes. The reason why this happens is because whenever a reactive value used inside the template changes, the component re-renders. So everything here is re-evaluated, or in greeting's case, is re-executed. To avoid this issue, instead of using a function, we can use a computed property. Computed properties are cached and re-evaluated only when the reactive values they depend on change. In greeting's case, it will only be re-evaluated when name changes. So let's do that. We'll do const greeting equals computed, and we'll import that from view, function, and then we'll paste in the contents of the greeting function. Paste that in, remove this, then inside the template, instead of calling a function, we'll just have greeting. Now, if we go in the browser and refresh, we see that greeting executes on the initial render, and when we change the name, but it no longer executes when something unrelated like the count changes. Basically, methods used in templates are re-executed every time the component re-renders, while computed properties are re-evaluated only when their specific dependencies change, making them more performant. Now, you might say, okay, but um, sometimes I need to pass parameters. You can't pass parameters to a computed property. And you'd be correct, you can't do that. However, there are cases in which you might think the only option is a function, but you could easily use a computed property. Here's an example. We have a list of people and the same button that increments count. In our component, we have a people array where each item has an ID, first name, and last name. Then we have the count reactive value and the full name function that takes in the first and the last name and concatenates them to return the full name. Finally, inside the template, we loop through the people array, we call the full name function, and we have the increment button. Now, if we look in the browser, we see that full name was executed five times, once for each item in the array. If we increment count, the template will re-render and full name will execute again, once for each item in the array, and so on. This is not very performant. The good news is we can actually use a computed property. While we cannot create a computed property for the full name, we can create one for the entire people array, one that will add full name as a property for each item. So let's do that. I'll go here and create, let's say, new people, which will be a computed property, and we'll return, we'll grab the existing people array and map through it, so we'll have person, and this will return a new object containing everything inside person plus the full name. Let's grab this from here. And we'll have person.first and last name. Then we can remove this. And here we'll simply call person.fullname. Let's go ahead and add a console here. New people was executed. And then instead of looping through the people array, we'll loop through the new computed property. Now, if we refresh, new people is executed on the initial render, but if we hit increment, the cached value will be used. So this will no longer execute every time. It will only execute whenever the people array changes. 
So as a conclusion, calling functions in templates can cause performance issues, so try to avoid it. I'm not saying you can always use a computed property, but please make sure you can't before reaching out to a function. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.